Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play a fingerstyle arrangement of Until I Found You. So let's get into it. So for this arrangement, we are in standard tuning and you need to put a capo on the second fret of your guitar. Also, all the tabs for this are available on my Patreon page. If you want them, check out the link down below. It really helps support my channel. So I've divided this song into a few different parts. Let's start with the intro. It sounds like this. So you start by holding this chord shape, which is almost like a D major chord shape. You have the 7th fret of the G string, the 8th fret of the B string and the 7th fret of the high E string. And on the right hand you start by playing this, where you're playing the G string, the B string and the high E string with a roll like that. And right after the roll, you have this part, where you play the G string first, then the high E string, then the B string and then the G string again, like that. So all together you get this, and right after that you have this. So here you have the 9th fret of the D string, the 7th fret of the G string, the 7th fret of the B string, and the 7th fret of the high E string all together with a bar like this with the index finger. So you're barring the G string, B string and the high E string with the index. So you start by plucking the D string, G string and the B string together. And then you do a pull off from the 10th fret of the high E string to the 7th fret of the high E string which you're playing with the index finger. Like that. And then you have this part. So there you're playing the B string once, then the G string and then the B string again. So all together you get this and then you change to this chord. So here you have the 10th fret of the D string, the 9th fret of the G string, the 8th fret of the B string and the 8th fret of the high E string. So you're playing that with a bar with the index finger like that. So you start by playing this. So you plug the D string, G string and the B string together first. Then you play the D string again and then you play this. So you're playing the high E string, then the B string and then the G string. So you get this. I'll do that again. And then you change to this chord. So here you're changing to the minor chord. So you have the 10th fret of the D string, the 8th fret of the G string, 8th fret of the B string and the 8th fret of the high E string together with a bar with the index finger. So you have this chord and the way you play it is you strum it 6 times. Just like that. And after that you have this part. So there you add your little finger onto the 10th fret of the high E string and the rest of the chord is exactly the same. You strum it 3 times like that and then you change the position of this finger from the 10th fret of the high E string to the 10th fret of the B string and then you strum this chord shape three times like that so all together you get this so that's the entire intro I'll play the whole thing once really slow it sounds like this And after that we have the verse which sounds like this. So we start off with this chord which is actually a portion of a G major chord. You just need to hold down the 3rd fret of the low E string with the middle finger like that. And on the right hand you start by playing this. So you start by playing the low E string first. Then you play the open D string. 
and after that you slap and ring the open G and the open B strings together. You play those two with the slap. Like that. So for those of you who don't know this technique, I'll try to explain it really briefly. You're using your index finger on the right hand and you're doing this motion to play the strings. So you're playing the G and B strings there using this motion with the index finger. Like that. And at the same time, you're slapping your thumb onto the lower strings to create that percussive sound. The low E string and the A string. Like that. So you have to do both of them together basically. So you get that. One more time. So far you have this. I'll do that again. And after that you play the open D string again in the end. So all together you get this. I'll do that again. And after that you just have to repeat this one more time. So this entire thing you just play it two times back to back. So you get this. I'll play that again. And after that you have this part. So there on the left hand you change to this chord where you're holding the 2nd fret of the A string and the 2nd fret of the G string. You start by playing the A string first, then you play the open D string in between, and then you slap and ring the open D string and the 2nd fret of the G string, these two together. You play that with the slap. I'll do that again. And in the end you play the open B string ones. So all together. I'll do that again. And then you have this part. So there you're changing from this chord to this one. So here you have the third fret of the A string which you're playing with the ring finger on the left hand. And you're playing the 2nd fret of the D string with the index finger and the 2nd fret of the G string with the middle finger. On the right hand you plug the A string, D string and the G string together. And then you lift this finger up and you play the open G string. So you get this. I'll do that again. And then you change the chord to this where, you, where you're holding the 3rd fret of the A string from the last chord and now you have the 1st fret of the D string. So here you have to slap and ring the 1st fret of the D string and the open G string, these two strings. You have to play that with the slap and then you play the note on the 1st fret of the D string. So you get this all together. I'll play that again. And with the previous part, one more time. So all together from the very beginning till this point, we have this so far. So in this song you just need to play this entire portion two times back to back. So you have this from the start. And after that you have this part. So here again you start with the G major chord where you just need to hold the 3rd fret of the low E string and on the right hand you start by playing the low E string first and after that you play the open D string and then you slap and ring the open G and the open B string just like last time. And then you add this note, this I mean this finger onto the note on the 3rd fret of the B string, you're, adding, you're playing that with your ring finger 
and you play that note like that i'll play that again really slow and then you have this part so there on the right hand you start by playing the low e string first then you play the open d string and then you slap and ring the g and b strings together these two so now you have the open g string and the third fret of the b string you play those two with the slap i'll play that again and then you play the open d string in the end so all together you have this and from the previous part and then you have this part so there you change to this chord where you just need to hold down the second fret of the a string you start by playing the a string first then you play the open d string and then you slap and ring the open b string and the open high e string together so you get this and after that you play the note on the third fret of the b string so all together you have this i'll do that again and then you have this part So there you change to this chord where you have the third fret of the A string and the second fret of the D string. On the right hand you start by plucking the A string, the open G string and the open B string together. And then you add your ring finger onto the third fret of the B string and you play that note. And after that you lift it up and then you play the open G string and the open B string these two together with the slap. like that and then you play the note on the second fret of the g string you play that with your index finger just like that i'll play that again and then you have this part so there you change back to the g major chord where you're holding the third fret of the low e string And on the right hand you plug the low E string, the open G string and the open B string together. And after that you slap and ring the open G and B strings together. And then you have this part. So there you're playing the open B string first, then you're playing the second fret of the G string there, and then you're playing the open G string and the third fret of the low E string together. So you have this I'll do that again. And if you play that with the first part. I'll do that again. And after that you just have to add this part. So there you're playing the open D string and the open G string together with the slap first. Then you're playing the low E string, the third fret there, and then you're playing the open G string. So all together you have this. I'll play that again. And if you play the whole thing on this chord, you have this so far. And then you have this part. So here you change to this C major chord. You have the third fret of the A string, second fret of the D string, open G string and the first fret of the B string. And on the right hand you plug the A string, D string, G string and the B string together. And then you play the A string again. So you have this. And then you lift this finger up. So now you have the open B string there and you slap and ring the chord. Like that. So there you're slapping and ring the second fret of the D string, open G string and the open B string. That part. And after that you play the bass note again, the third fret of the A string. So all together you get this. 
and then you change to this chord. So there you have to hold the second fret of the low E string and the second fret of the G string. I'm using my thumb to play the note on the second fret of the low E string. You can also use your index finger if you want. So while holding this chord, on the right hand you plug the low E string, the open D string and the G string together. And then you slap and ring this part of the chord, the open D string and the second fret of the G string. Play that with the slap. Like that. So all together from the last part you have this. One more time. And if you play it once from that G major chord, you have this. So that's the whole verse. I'll play the whole thing once really slow. It sounds like this. And after that we have the chorus which sounds like this. So we start by playing the open D string two times, like that, and then you need to hold this chord. So here you have the third fret of the A string and the second fret of the D string. You start by playing this. So here you are plucking the A string and the D string together first, and then you are playing just the D string again, like that. And then you have this part. So here you're slapping and ringing the 2nd fret of the D string, open G string and the open B string, these 3 strings. You're playing them with a slap. And immediately after the slap you're doing your hammer on onto the 1st fret of the B string. Like that. I'll do that again. So all together you get this. I'll do that again. And after that you play the open B string. So you let go of this note and you play the open B string there. So all together you have this and then you have this chord. So here you are just sliding this shape that you had previously up two frets. So now you have the fifth fret of the A string and the fourth fret of the D string. You start by playing this. So just like before, you play the A and D strings together first and then you play just the D string. I'll play that again. And then you have this part. So there you're slapping and ringing the A string, D string and the open G string all together. And then you're playing the second fret of the G string. So I'll do that again. And with the previous part you get this. So all together from the start you have this so far. I'll do that again. And then you have this part. So there you have the G major chord again. You just need to hold down the 3rd fret of the low E string. On the right hand you plug the low E string, open G string and the open B string together. You plug them together like that. And then you play the bass note again. Like that. 
And then you add your ring finger onto the third fret of the B string and you ring the open G string and the third fret of the B string with the slap. I'll do that again. And then you change to this chord. So here you have this chord where you're playing the fifth fret of the A string with the ring finger and you have to play the fourth fret of the D string with the index finger and the fourth fret of the G string with the middle finger. And you also have the open B string there. So on the right hand you're plucking the A string, D string, G string and the B string all together like that. So from the start till this point you have this so far. And in the end you add a slap so you have this so right after you plug that chord there you add the slap so all together from the start you have this and after that you have this part So we start off the same way, we have this and then we have this new part. So we start with the G major chord again where you just hold the third fret of the low E string. On the right hand you plug the low E string, open D string, open G string and the open B string together. Then you add your ring finger onto the 3rd fret of the B string and you play that note. And then you slap and ring the chord. Like that. And after that you lift this finger up and you play the open B string again. I'll do that again. And then you have this part. So there you change to this chord where you have the 3rd fret of the low E string, the 3rd fret of the D string and the 4th fret of the G string. You plug the low E string, D string and the G string together. And then you change to this. So there you're changing the 4th fret of the G string to the 2nd fret there. So you're playing the 2nd fret of the G string with the index finger over there. And you play this. So while the chord is still ringing the rest of the chord, you change from the 4th fret to the 2nd fret, like that. So all together you have this. And in the end you add a slap. So again all together you get this. And after that you have this part. So we start off with this part which you already know. You've played this in the first section of the chorus. So there right after you plug that last chord in the end where you had the 5th fret of the A string, 4th fret of the D string, 4th fret of the G string and the open B string. You play the note on the A string again. And then you add this finger, the little finger onto the 5th fret of the B string. And then you play the chord with the slap. So all together you have this. One more time. And then you change to this. So there you changing from the 5th fret of the B string to the 3rd fret of the B string. Like that. And then you change to the C major chord here. So you have this.
Mm. I'll do that again. So here you have the third fret of the A string, second fret of the D string, open G string and the first fret of the B string. So right after you played the note on the third fret there, you change to the C major chord where you play the bass note first, the A string and then you plug the D, G and B strings together. So all together you have this. I'll play that again. And if we play it from the last chord, one more time. And right after that, you have this part. So, right after you played this, you slap and ring the chord. And then you play the open G string. Like that. And then you have this part. So there you play the A string, D string, G string. And then you slap and ring the chord again. Like that. I play that again really slow. And then you have this part. So there you start by playing the open B string first. And then you change to this chord where you have the third fret of the A string, the first fret of the D string and the second fret of the G string. So you start by plucking the A, D and G strings together. And then he played just the G string two more times. So all together you get this. And then you slap and ring the chord. So there you're ringing the D string and the G string these two. And then you're playing the G string two more times. So all together you have this. I'll play that again and then you have this part so there you're adding your little finger onto the third fret of the B string and you're plucking the A string and the B string together and then you're playing the B string two more times then you slap and ring these two strings the D string and the G string and then you're playing the note on the 2nd fret of the G string two more times. In the end, right after the slap. Like that. I'll do that again. So all together you have this. I'll do that again. So I'll play the entire section that leads to this part. So that's the whole chorus. I'll play the whole thing once. It sounds like this. After this chorus, the song goes back into the verse and then to the chorus again, both of which are exactly the same. And then you have the solo section which sounds like this.
So we start off with this chord, which is actually a G major chord. You just need to hold down the third fret of the low E string and the third fret of the high E string. And now on the right hand with the index finger, you do this. So there you're basically ringing all the strings, starting from the lowest string all the way till the highest string, like that. And then you play the note on the third fret of the high E string two more times, like that. And after that you slap and ring the chord. So there you're ringing the D string, G string and the B string, all three of which are open, like that. I'll do that again. And then you have this. So there you play the note on the third fret of the high E string. And then you slide up to the fifth fret, like that. And then you go back to the third fret really quickly and you play that note, like that. So you get this, I'll do that again. And after that you have to repeat this part again. So you just play it two times back to back like this. And then you change to this chord. So there with the index finger you bar the second fret. You start from the A string there. And then you bar all the way up till the high E string with the index finger. And with the middle finger you just need to hold the note on the third fret of the B string. On the right hand you plug the A string, G string, B string and the high E string together. Like that. And right after you plug the chord you play the note on the second fret of the high E string two more times. So you get this. I'll do that again. And right after that you slap and ring the D, G and B strings. Like that. So all together you get this. One more time. And then you have this. Where you play the 5th fret of the high E string and then the 3rd fret of the high E string. So you get this. And then you have this part. So there you start off the same way as before. It's the same up until there where you slap and ring the chord. And after that instead of doing this, you do this. So there you play the 5th fret of the high E string with the little finger. And then you slide all the way up to the 7th fret. And then you play the 5th fret again. Like that. I'll do that again really slow. So the entire part on this chord sounds like this. And then you change to this chord. So here you basically have a C major chord with this added note on the 3rd fret of the high E string. So altogether you have the 3rd fret of the A string. 2nd fret of the D string, open G string, 1st fret of the B string and 3rd fret of the high E string. So on the right hand you plug the chord, so you plug the A string, G string, B string and the high E string together. And then you play the note on the 3rd fret of the high E string two more times. Then you slap and ring the chord. I'll do that again really slow. And then you have this part. So there, just like earlier, you play the note on the 5th fret, slide up to the 7th fret, then you come back to the 5th fret and play that note. Like that. So all together you get this. And then you just repeat this again. So you get this all together. And then you have this part. So there you start with this chord on the left hand where you have the 3rd fret of the A string, 1st fret of the D string and the 2nd fret of the G string. On the right hand you play the open B string first, and then you play the note on the 2nd fret of the G string. And then you have this part. 
So there from this chord you lift up the middle finger so now you have the open G string and you plug the A string, D string and the G string together. And then you play the G string which is open two more times. Like that. I'll play that again really slow. And then you have this part. So there you add the middle finger back in on the second fret of the G string and then you slap and ring the D and G strings, these two, you play that with the slap and then you play the second fret of the G string two times after that. So all together you have this from the start. then you have this part. So there after that you add your little finger on the third fret of the B string and you plug that with the third fret of the A string. Like that. You play the A string and the B string together and then you play the B string two more times. And then you lift it up so now you have the open B string and you slap and ring the chord. So there you're ringing the D string, G string and the open B string, these three together with the slap. So in the end you get this. So all together you get this. So that's the whole solo part. I'll play the whole thing once. It sounds like this. After the solo section, the song goes back into the chorus and so forth, you already know it and it's exactly the same as earlier. And after playing this last chorus, you end the song on a G major chord. So I'll play from the ending of the chorus. So here you just need to hold the third fret of the low E string, you play that note. And after that you play the open D, G and B strings, like that. So that's the ending, that's the whole song. Let's discuss the song structure. So we start with the intro, then we have the verse and then we have the chorus. After that we have the verse and the chorus again, both of which are exactly the same as earlier. Then you have the solo section and then the song goes into the chorus again and then ends. So that's the whole song. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped. All the tabs for this lesson are available on my Patreon page. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions or requests for song tutorials, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.